Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect. Last we left off, we were about to have a word with Caden at long last, and then after that, actually moving on with the game. I know, right? Absolutely amazing. Let's have a chat, buddy boy. Do you have some time to talk now, Commander? <laughs> Personal crap? Not interested. Yeah, absolutely. Of course. Have a seat. We've played it pretty close to the book so far, but we're a long way from backup. We've got some tough calls to make. I'm just saying, try to leave yourself a way out. I've seen what cutting corners can do, and I'd hate to have that happen to you, Shepard. Commander. Huh. <laughs> yeah, Shepard, how informal. That's not the appropriate way to address your commanding officer, Lieutenant. Sorry, ma'am. Maybe I got a bad signal. And if you're a... Maybe there's someone else you'd rather confide in. Ma'am. I see. All right, Alenko. Off the record, permission to speak candidly, cross my heart, and hope to die. What are you talking about? Uh, Dr. Tassoni, ma'am. There's a lower deck rumor that she's uh, interested in you. It's more than a source of Prothean data. No. She's a very interesting lady. To my uh, tastes, but. I never claim to be big on alien culture. <laughs> you seem awfully worried about my personal affairs. It's just that we don't have much downtime these days. I like being around you, but I I don't want to take up your personal time. Hmm. Look, you didn't want to talk about Liara, did you? What's your real issue? You're right. Sorry, it wasn't. Uh, I think I actually fucked Liara's that up. not my main concern. Maybe. I'm not questioning any decision you've made, Shepard. Let me be clear about that. It's just my experience that once someone lets something slide, it tends to pick up speed. Do you get my meaning? Talk to me, Caden. You got a little black rain cloud sitting over your head. I'll try to keep the deck dry. You know the records about the biotic trading out on Jump Zero. They're all classified, because the Alliance made mistakes. After first contact, Kinetics was set up to track Element Zero exposures and develop implants for humans. Once we had an embassy on the Citadel, Kinetics could bring in experts instead of taking it slow. Is there some reason we couldn't learn it on our own? They didn't know where to start. Hell, it took a couple of years to even link Biotics and Ezo. Forget trying to get the kids to move stuff. They had trouble just helping them not break their own limbs. And their choice of teachers didn't help much. Really? The only experts would have to be aliens. Dead on. Turians, actually. That's why Kinetics kept it a secret. Ah. They were afraid of what people back home would think, asking the Turians for help when we just fought a war with them. And the Asari would have been more acceptable than the Turians. Yes, but the company didn't go through the Citadel. It would have made Earth look weak, so they discreetly hired some Turian mercenaries. Aha! Uh -huh. So basically, it was not going to go well no matter what, because it was going on behind the Citadel, but still. I'm sure Kinetics did what they thought was best. It wasn't best for us. They brought in an ex-military Turian named Commander Vernus. To introduce himself, he liked to say, I was at the hell of the Dreadnought that killed your father. I told him my dad wasn't in the war. He retired to Vancouver. My family had an inland home that matured to New Beachfront. Vernus had it in for me after that. He cut corners, pushed hard. I mean, you either came out a Superman or a wreck. A lot of kids snapped. A few died. Wow. The point of all this, I guess, is that when you cut corners, it's not always obvious who pays for it. So why are you telling me this? Is there something I can do to help you get over it? I'm 32, Shepard. You don't serve as long as I have without coming to terms with yourself. You also learn that if someone is special to you, you help them. Try to keep them from making mistakes. Special, huh? Special, huh? Oh. If I'm out of line, just say the word. <laughs> Sorry, I did not mean to call that line. <laughs> You're not out of line, Caden. But there are regs. I get you, Shepard. I don't make a habit of complicating the chain of command. Just think about what I said. Hmm. What's your opinion on the last mission? 
I'm glad there aren't many aliens like the Thorian. I don't think my stomach could take it. Hell of a deal you worked out with John, though. <laughs> if I ever get a speeding ticket, I want you to be my advocate. <laughs> Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll have time for personal debriefings later. All right, all right. We'll talk later, Caden. I'd like that. Okay, so that romance is still active. I didn't spend time negating anything with Liara. Is there something in here? Oh, hey. So they sent us some new... Ooh, wait. Why is this better than the one... Oh, because it's one level up. Ha ha ha. That explains that. Uh, has better accuracy, but not nearly as much damage. And I've already got a better weapon there. So, do I have any better... Polonium rounds? Five? Uh, everything else is lower than that. Okay. Alright, so, let's see. We've already dealt with all of that, that's the way out that, uh, alright. Sorry, just trying to organize my thoughts. You know, I'm not helping the shepherd is drunk theory at all, am I? Although, obviously, that extends to... The Lorelei is the drunk one. But, um, anyway. Good timing, Commander. Whoa. We got a transmission coming in from the Citadel. Top priority clearance. Is it the ambassador? It's not his signature. I think it's from the council. I'll patch it through to the comm room. The comm room, huh? Commander Shepard, we've received information that may be critical to your mission against Saren. I'll take all the help I can get. We've received an urgent message from one of our infiltration regiments in the Traverse. You mean spies? Spectres tend to attract attention, Commander. But they are only one arm of the Council. Special task groups are often a better option for monitoring developing situations. We currently have several infiltration units scattered throughout the border regions of Citadel space. This particular unit was gathering intel on Saren. What did they find? Unfortunately, the message we received was little more than static. The infiltration team must be in a situation where they can't set up proper interstellar communications. But the message was sent on a channel reserved for mission critical communications. Whatever they were trying to tell us, we know it was important. Considering your interest in Saren, we thought you might want to investigate this. Find out what happened to our team. The signal originated from the planet Vermeer. I'll look into it. The Council prefers not to become involved in the specifics of Spectre activities. We only want you to be aware of all your options, including Vermeer. Good luck, Commander Shepard. We will keep you advised if we learn anything else. And those of you familiar with, it, with this game... ...probably just had your heart clench. Well, those of you who care about this game, anyway. Well, anyway, you know what Vermeer is. And if you don't know what it is, then I'm not going to spoil that. Alright, and we can't go back to Ferris. We've already explored every planet in this galaxy here. Or not this galaxy, this cluster, I think. Yeah, I already checked out Hercules. Okay. So... It's time- we're not gonna go to Vermeer just yet. Time for us to find... Take care of some of the other quest lines that we've had going on since we started. And just Hydra, huh? Travel to another system? Yes. Thank you, Master. Message coming in. 
Patch it through. Again? Commander, I'm glad you're in the area. We've got an emergency situation, and you're the only one I can trust to get the job done. Sure. How can I help, Admiral? Biotic fanatics have hit a medical research station with a psychotropic drug. The drugs have temporarily driven researchers crazy, and the biotics are effectively using them as human shields. Um... So if I shoot everything that moves, a lot of researchers are gonna die. Mm-hmm. Exactly. A normal team could handle the biotics, but a lot of innocent researchers would die during the operation. That's why I contacted you. I'm hoping you can keep the casualties to a minimum. Yes. I'll do everything within my power to bring those researchers back safely, Admiral. I know you will, Commander. I'm sending you the station coordinates now. Fifth lead out. And I continue to love Hackett. <laughs> Ooh, pretty blue. And what does it have? Helium 3. Okay. And then where is that planet there? That's it. Canra. Huh. Small rocky well with a trace atmosphere of methane and krypton. <laughs> Mainly composed of magnesium and silicates. Henrum was the site of the warlord she Shiagur's defeat by Turian peacekeeping forces during the Krogan rebellions. While this band was not especially powerful, Shiagur was a female warlord, and one of the few remaining fertile, fe fertile females at that. She had, through viciousness and cunning, par parlayed her unique value into a unique posi into a position of power. Krogan males competed for the right to join her band and lie with her. Ah. When Shiagur's death was announced, vengeful male Krogan admirers near and far swore blood oaths against the participating Turian crews. In the end, several thousand of the Turian participants were killed in open combat or through assassination. To this day, many Krogan proudly proclaim that they have the blood of Shiagur. Turian insignia! Dangerous levels of radiation coming from orbit. Chief Engineer Adams conducted further scans and discovered the remains of a bunch of warhead marked with a Parthia colony insignia. Aha! Uh -huh. Interesting! They are... Large gas giant with traces of chlorine and sodium. Mm. Just there. Metgoss. Message coming in. Dip. Patching it through. Stop! The general distress call from the Sacred Angel Medical Transport. Critical system failure. Losing power. An emergency landing. Margos. Communications failing. Life support. An emergency transponder. Won't last. Please hurry. Uh huh. Not yet. And Varmalus. Okay. So this was pretty much the reason why we came to this planet. Level 2 heat hazard. Metcos is a large terrestrial planet with an atmosphere of carbon dioxide and nitrogen. Its hot surface is mainly composed of nickel with deposits of potassium and heavy metals. It is a mineralogical tre treasure trove with concentrated heavy elements constantly being brought to the surface by volcanic activity. Metgasus is inhospitable and dangerous, and expeditions must be well prepared to res survive any length of time. With its high mass, heat trapping clouds, and constant volcanic venting, Metgasus seems well on its way becoming a Venetian pressure cooker world. Let's land on it! Wow, that background noise is kind of creepy. And Dally, because I like having the tech strength. Yeah, that works. Yes. So this one's actually fun because the minute that you step outside of it... Ah. That's the missions. But let's see. I, as far back as a distress call, yes. Investigate distress call. Strange transmission, yes. 
This one we had since the beginning. You can go back to some of my early uh, videos from the Citadel and you'll have seen the UNC distress call pop up. But yes, if you step outside for even just a few seconds, notice how that is immediately turning red there at the bottom above the level 2 hazard? Yeah, you can't actually step outside the Mako for extended periods of time. That's actually very difficult. Transponder signal, anomaly, and debris. Let's go to the debris first. And to demonstrate again my excellent driving ability. I am loath to randomly buck myself about- wow, that background noise is something else. Wow. That's pretty intense background noise. Whoa! Okay. So, there's that. Ah! Bleh. Why is it getting louder? Or am I just imagining things? I'm probably just imagining things. But it's still loud. And mind you guys, the reason I'm complaining about it is really just because I have headset on. The A headset on. Sorry, there was a word missing there. That's what we're looking for. Whee! Okay. Save and... Yeah. Ah, and let's do this. Hopefully, this will actually... Exoskeleton 5 and Shredder Rounds 5. Okay. Excellent. Yes, Kitty, I know. You want attention. That's what you, that's what you always want. It is not terribly hospitable, is it? Nope, does not want me to go up that way. Alright, gonna have to go around the other way then. No, that's not what I wanted you to do, but sure, whatever. Backslide. Turn and go. No. Ah. Whee! See, it still has not taken damage. Fire a few lasers as it, at it, and it, yeah, it goes nuts, but fall from tremendous heights, and, you know, the Mako goes, Bleh. I've seen worse. Well, okay then. noise is just kind of creepy. That constant, like, rumbling. Up 
here? There it is. Ooh. Interesting. Turian corpse, it says. Metgos. Yes. Alright, let's give this a shot. Turian corpse recover, and yet the... the... Um... Recover artifact. Which is, again, decryption. Turian insignia recovered! Wreckage, you found a very old letter stamped with the Gothis colony insignia. Unfortunately, the text is indecipherable. So there's that. Yes, ma'am. No. On your order. I, s I want to get in the freaking Mako. Boy, that's not a phrase I expected to hear myself say at any time soon. I want to get in the Mako. I just ran over the Turian corpse. Good job, Shepard. Mountain goat. Wee. <laughs> okay. And yet notice, no damage sustained from any of that. special. I hope you guys like my Mako driving. I had it specially tailored for you! Actually, I just really suck at it, but you know. I've learned to accept that I just really can't... There's a deposit, is there? Eh. Eh. Mecca. Yeah. Not entirely sure where this deposit is supposed to be. Oh, I'm literally coming right on top of it. Thorium deposit, huh? Hmm. That was a weird sound. And that did not work very well. Hey! Rare element. A large deposit of thorium. And I put up my orange beacon because. Alright, now I'm actually not quite out of time. But what's going to be coming up will actually take a lot longer than I have left in this video to do. So I'm going to get in the Mako, for one. <laughs> and then when we come back, I'm going to be exploring the distress beacon that brought us to this planet in the first place. Hope to see you then!